Hey, it's Guard here, and today I'm going to do a real simple little thing that you need to do every once in a while. It's called defrosting the refrigerator. It's not a lot of work. It's pretty simple, really. On our Coach and Beyond, we have a 100, um, excuse me, we have a 12 volt refrigerator. It's a compressor style refrigerator. So basically, all you really have to do is empty it. So we already have it fairly empty because of our, um, we came over the last trip and took everything out. But you can see up here, and it's not really, it doesn't really need to be defrosted much, but there is some here. If it's, the more it builds up, the worse it gets for making it run good. So all you have to do to defrost it is one, get a towel because it's gonna have a lot of water. And depending on how thick the frost is, you might have to put a couple of towels here because as that melts, it's gonna drip. It's gonna fall down here. It's gonna come down here. And it's gonna wind up in this towel, hopefully. So just pack the towel in really good. Get all the airspace out. And there's a knob right here. You just rotate this knob counterclockwise and it'll click like that. And once it clicked, it's turned off. The light stays on because the door is open and the coach is powered up. So the only way you can turn that off is you could either put a little piece of tape over this button, put a little piece of a, like um, uh, painter's tape. Let me see, do I have some painter's tape in here? I could even, nah, no painter's tape. But anyway, you can take a piece of painter's tape and just push this in and hold it in, the light will turn out. Or you can just close the door almost all the way let's see let me move that bike out just a little bit right there so when it closes like that you can see the light goes out and you need to do the same thing for the freezer too there's a little bit of ice on here it's, it's not bad because we, we keep it pretty well defrosted most of the time Every time we go out to a trip or so, the trip we do the same process. So basically, just take a towel, put a towel down there. And this door, you can leave it open because there's no light in there. So you can actually take it, you can leave it open this way, or you can also, since it wants to close, you can take the little latch here and just put it like that. It'll keep it from going all the way in. And this one, you can see the lights out. So, I'm gonna leave it like this overnight, and tomorrow we'll come back in here. It'll all be melted out. We'll uh, clean up all the water in there that's out there. We'll clean it with some um, like Lysol wipes, get it all nice and clean. We'll turn it back on. It'll start the whole process of making new ice to be defrosted in several months from now. So um, stand by and we'll show you what step two looks like. Okay, so it's the next day, and we're going to come down. First thing I'll do is open the refrigerator. Now you can see all that ice is gone. And the towel we put down here is soaking wet. All that water is pretty much here. But there's still some on the shelves in here. So we're just going to kind of clean that up a little bit. So that's, that's done with this. We're gonna just put this here for the time being. It's, this needs to be washed. And I got some Lysol cleaner here. You know, I'm just gonna kinda give it a little spritzing in here. And some paper towels. Let's just kinda clean it out. And you can see since I've got the door fully open, the light, the light came on inside there. But the refrigerator still turned off. This is my sensor that I use to measure the temperature with. Sensor push. Really like those. And it's not like there's a fire truck in town heading out.
There's probably a way of getting this shelf out to clean it, but I don't know how to do it. I've tried a couple times and almost thought I had it figured out, but I didn't. Um, I tried it one more time. Uh, Deb said we ought to figure it out because it's, it's built, so it's got to be able to come apart. So I just kind of grabbed this in the middle and I kind of bent it a little bit without bending it and just kind of flexed it where I could pull these out of the holes that are in the side over here. Mm -hmm. And we got the shelf out, took it in the house and cleaned it. And these little scuff marks that are like in the door, Deb said, maybe a magic eraser will get them. So magic erasers are pretty cool. So Deb went and found this and like right here, this little spot right here, it won't come off, but look at that, just that little magic eraser and it's gone. So like right here on that, that shelf right there. That's from like LaCroix cans. We drink yeah. a lot of uh, sparkling water. A lot of uh, drink cans. So it just cleans it right up. So that's what, magic erasers are pretty cool. So we got that cleaned up. There's a little spot right there, up there. And uh, the bottom shelf. Right it's there, a you whole can, lot better. Yeah, you can see this, it just cleans it right up. So there we go. Thank you, Deb. She always, I try to do stuff the easy way. And uh, Deb always wants me to do it the right way. So, yeah, she's, what, there's more spots in there? Oh, man, let's see. I thought I got that. But she's lower than me. She can see that stuff. I can't see it. Yeah. All right, so anyway, that's how that worked. It works pretty good. You don't get a picture of me. I'm really casual today. Yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> okay. All right, so there's that. It's Let's... okay for you to be casual. Yeah. You're a guy. Okay. That's Sunday. Good. And mm -hmm. here's a little bit back here. Yeah, so it just takes it right off, so. And then maybe we'll go over it again with a little bit of soap. I have to say the Magic Racer is an amazing little product. It's magic. It's magic. So there's that. Okay, yeah. now we can put the refrigerator back together. Okay. Yeah. Let's see down here. Put it, yeah. Yeah. It just, Not it's bad. Nice. It's a nice job. Okay, now I'll put that shelf back in there now. So here, yeah. take, okay. take the camera. Okay, here's the shelf. Okay, here. One side is curved and one, it, it, it's all smudgy looking, but it is clean. I forget which side came out front. Well, I, imagine I would curve say the curve goes in, yeah. In the back. Oops. Okay, there we That's go. That's right, yeah. So we got that. And I'm just gonna flex that in there. Put these, there's two holes here, two prongs. It's got the, the uh, sharp edge back, not sharp, but the squared edge there, round edge in the front. Mm -hmm. So I'll put that in right there. And then I'm gonna take my hands and just kinda flex it a little and put it right there. There we go. That Ooh, was, that was that nice. That worked pretty simple, yeah. really. So, so that's nice. So that's nice and clean now. And we also took out the, uh, where's the shelf that goes on the top? Oh yes, the shelf. So, so we could get around All this right. area a little better. Yeah. Now that we know it's easy to get out, we can do it more often. Yeah. So there it is. Well, that was easy to get out, wasn't it? Yeah. All right. I think we've taken this out before. Yeah. Definitely not this. Yeah, that's the first time I did it. Plastic shelves. Okay. And, um, all right. A little racing going on here. Okay. I think whenever something rubs on it, it just scuffs the interior up. Yeah. It's better. Okay. Make it look, make it look nice, so yeah. it doesn't look so uh, old so soon. All right. It's well, got to last um, what twenty years. Yes. All right. So that's that's the end of the it's video. The life now. alone. <laughs> so thanks for watching, everybody. And um, got any questions? Just leave a comment. Thanks. Bye.